Peace family, yo, thank you for joining us, right? And I'm thrilled to announce the fact that we are now releasing our first free e-course. Come and learn about Gianni's journey, see some of the stuff we do. Come and join the tribe, tribe up with us, and check out the free e-course. And we'll make sure that the URL pop up right about here. And it'll probably be somewhere in here. Check us out, family, because we are building. Come and learn about Gianni journey. And let's build together. But the most important goddesses were black. Not just for the African now, in the civilization of the Greeks. The Greek was so profoundly affected by the Africans that the goddess of chastity was a black woman, Artemis. The goddess of wisdom was a black woman, Minerva. The goddess of beauty was a black woman, Diana. And many of their great mythological figures which were critical to the vision of history, the history of the Greeks in the Odyssey, the woman who draws, who has the power to draw Odysseus and all his crew into her, is Circe, who is represented as a black woman with African features on the Greek vases. The woman who helps Jason win the Golden Fleece is a black woman, Medea. The woman who marries Perseus, the Greek hero, is... What is a lion without his pride? What is a whale without his pie? What is a monkey without his troop? What is a wolf without his pack? The answer is very simple. They are the same thing that a human being is without a tribe. Pray. Habaragani, Balm Skin & Co. is the true definition of self-care, self-love, and repeat. We are what we create in life. Balm Skin & Co. chooses to create something innovative and unforgettable. Check out our website for more information. Spirit Over Flesh LLC is a wellness-based business where we heal through words. I'm Tiandra. I'm the founding servant leader. It is a black-owned, woman-owned business that was founded in Ohio, but that can serve the world. Um, through virtual sessions, either by phone or video conference, we have a conversation. We always start with a 15-minute consult where 
we just make sure that I learn a little bit about you, you learn some about me, and then we schedule some time to be intentional about your wellness journey. During the time, it's about education and empowerment. You are your own best doctor from within. So I'm literally someone who is just intentional in the space and drawing questions out of you to get you further on your wellness journey. Sessions are typically starting at $80, but if you mention Kwanzaa 2020, we're gonna go ahead and take 20% off. It's about getting you well so that we can be well, right? Kujichagalia and Ujima, collective responsibility. So grateful for the opportunity to support you in your wellness journey. If you're interested, go to my website, spiritoverfleshllc.com. There's a button that says, let's connect. Fill out the form and I'll get right back to you. Again, that's spiritoverfleshllc.com. I look forward to supporting you in your wellness journey and healing through words. Are you heading out of town or have a special occasion? What about birthdays, anniversaries, or reunions? Get the best deals and inexpensive rental car rates, mid-sized sedans, compact cars, and more. We have a variety of fleet vehicles to accommodate any and all of your rental car needs. Make a reservation today at your local budget rental car on Hamilton Road in Whitehall. Call 614-863-7500. <laughs> I'm Carla, and my sister Karen and I own two natural sisters. We've been in business for five years, and we sell a line of natural bath, body, and candle products. Let's take a look. Follow us on social media, Facebook and Instagram, at Two Natural Sisters. All items that are in stock will be shipped within 24 to 48 hours. As a promotional item, we offer a CD of black romantic poetry of self-love and coupled love and 50% discount on Sister Locks, Brother Locks by consultant Sapphire Donetta Mahati. If you have any questions, you can reach us at customercare at twonaturalsisters.com. Enjoy and happy Kwanzaa. What's going on? My name is Doe. I am the owner and creator of Madeline Jen. Madeline Jen is best described as a celebratory art experience that exudes hella blackness. Initially, the company was founded to provide a luxurious but affordable art experience and has since transformed itself into something a bit more spiritual. By walking in what I believe to be my truth, I've been able to get in contact with my ancestors and use my platform and my art, my gift, to tell their untold stories. I do that by using different textures, by utilizing different mediums, colors, and just making things pop out so that it's open for interpretation. I love, 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 love creating, and I can't wait to be of service to you. Thank you. I am a genius. My ancestors were geniuses. My ancestors have made me a genius in all that I think, say, and do. I must declare myself a genius. I am a genius. Whenever I am myself, I practice my geniusness and do great things. All my thoughts, choices, and deeds must express my geniusness. I am a genius. My decisions must always be in the best interest of myself, my family, my people, and my God. Only then will I and everyone I know know that I am a genius. I am a genius. At all times, my geniusness must reflect my culture. My geniusness must serve my God. 
My geniusness must make me be one in love and harmony with my family. My geniusness must protect my people. Yes, yes at all times I must demonstrate excellence because I am a genius. The Purpose Driven Society is a black owned, woman owned business local to Columbus who creates accessories that have intentional messaging. Our specialty are buttons. Buttons can be wear anywhere, on a shirt, on a book bag, on a hat. The beautiful thing about buttons is that you can change them and switch it up depending on your mood or the day. For election day, we wore a very intentional button. On my book bag, my student's book bag, it says, you are already intelligent, educate yourself. Buttons are empowering with the messages that we create. Again, we do them very intentionally. At the Purpose Driven Society, we're minding our black owned business and hope that you'll help mind ours too by doing business with us. Our buttons go for $3 for one, five for two, $7 for three. But if you mention Kwanzaa 2020, we're doing a special where you'll get an assortment of buttons for just $20 and we'll ship anywhere in the country. So again, that's the Purpose Driven Society. We can be re reached at the Purpose Driven Society at Outlook.com. Send us an email and we will put together a very intentional bag of buttons for you and ship it straight to your home. Happy Kwanzaa. Thanks for doing business with us. Great day. Y'all know we got to start it off right because this is Kwanzaa 365. We do Kwanzaa 365 around here. Family, I want to welcome you great, great Ujima to each and every last one of you. And here we go. Shouts out to Mama Margarita. Keep your head up. I got it to you as well. Ujima! It's Blunt Talk Night, Blunt Talk Night, family. Put the kids to bed. 
Tonight at 7 p.m. Yeah. Yeah. Come visit us, girl. Out to Mama Ziza. Ones are every day here, y'all. Oh, thought you knew. I thought you knew. Oh, man. Make sure you get your account on gnj.media. As we say, welcome home. Ah, 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 ah. So I wonder what my little brother going to put together for part two. I don't know. We don't. But you know one thing I do know? We're going to have to film in 4K. Because I got this big picture back here. Uh, I had to stop it. I'm on, let, me, let me repair that. I'm so excited. Sitting up here. Kid magic. This is kid magic rock. Shots out. Here we go. Drink your water Come on, come on, drink your water But first, take your breath and drink some water Take your breath Take your breath and drink some water Take your breath Take your breath and drink some water Take your breath Drink, 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 drink or should I say, breathe, breathe, then drink. Take a breath, take a breath, take a breath. Now, oh, grab your glass for some water. Get your glass, come on now. Lift your pitcher of that water. Pour 
bottle. Get that picture of that water. Uh-huh. Come on now. Simply there we go. There we go. Drink, 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 drink. Drink Or should water. I say, lift, pour, then drink. Now move your body and drink some water. Move your body. Move your body and drink some water. Move your body. Move your body and drink some water. Bam. Just move your body. Drink, drink, drink. Oh, my fault. Drink your water. Or should I say, move, move, then drink. Move your body. Now raise your hands and toast your ancestors. Raise your glass and toast your ancestors. Raise your glass and toast your ancestors, fam. Just raise your glass. Drink, 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 drink. Drink your water. Or should I say, raise, toast, then drink. Take your breath and drink some water. Take your breath. Lift and pour yourself some water. Pour. Move your body, drink some water. Move it. Raise your glass and toast your ancestors. Breathe, lift, move, toast. But remember to stay healthy. Remember the four pillars. pillars. Breathe, drink, eat. Move. Four pillars. Drink half your weight and ounces. Half. Eat a culture before we die. Get some sleep in sun. Take your breath. Come on. Lift and pour. You can do it. Move your body. Come on. Come on. Toast your ancestors. Drink up. Come on. Drink it. Drink it. Drink it. Come on. You can do it. Come on. Drink it. Lift and drink it. Come on. Drink that health in. Drink. 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 Drink your water. Take your breath. Take your breath. Take your breath. Lift and pour. Lift, lift it. Move your body. Come on. Come on. Toast your ancestors. Drink. 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 Drink your water. Drink. 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 Come on. Drink your water. Take your power. Oh, okay, okay. Lift and pour. Come on, pour it. Move your body. Toast your ancestors. Drink, 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 drink. What? Drink your water. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood, a beautiful day in the neighborhood, would you be mine, won't you be mine, won't you be my neighbor, I told you, the album is coming, the album is coming, uh, Oh, is the storm clouds out? Bay! Family, 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 family. Uh-oh, uh-oh, hold on. My mama just my mama just wrote my one of my spiritual mamas just wrote something. Let me see. Uh, she said, uh, well, Kiara says, got me dancing and drinking water for the ancestors this morning. That's what we're supposed to do. Because if we're not healthy, we can't take care of the ancestors. So part of us taking care of our ancestors is taking care of our temple. Alright? So at least we can start the day right. I know a lot of us end it wrong. I can speak for myself. I end each day wrongly, right? But I started out. I had good intentions. I had good intentions. I sw- <laughs> but my mama said, to the cause, to the cause, I got to go drink my water. Homage and praise to the creator and the ancestors, Ashe. Thank you, Mama Ziza. All right. And shouts out. To Elder Margarita, who's telling the elders, let's keep it moving, family. The song is to get you moving, drinking your water, you know what I'm saying, and remembering that breath, right? Because remember the four pillars, breath, 
breathing through the nose, down through the belly, right? I mean, you don't even have to do it that much. Some people are like, you got to sit around for a half an hour. Let's start with one or two breaths a day. And they say start feeling good because when you start taking those nice deep breaths, you start feeling that energy in your body. So then you'll go on and increase. So you don't even got to keep the schedule that people tell you to keep. You do it when it feels good. And if you start your day off early in the morning, as Dr. Carr said to us, before day, full day, right? We in the noon, we collected all that our shade that's out here right now, right? Pulling it in before it get corrupted. Pulling it in before other people could go on and throw that negative stuff out there. It's nice and quiet, right? You pull it, that breath, that water. Water helps clean out your system, jumpstart your system, help that electrical, the electrical flow that's going on in you. It helps, it keeps moving, right? And helps clean you out, right? Then we talk about that move, moving, right? Boom, get up, dance, got a nice little beat provided for us by uh, Mr. Deity. Music provided by Mr. Deity. The, the production done on the song was by Kid Magic. And, of course, we toast to our ancestors. But the four pillars are breathing, drinking, eating, and moving. Right? We try to do all of them in the song. Breathing, drinking. We don't eat. That's why I couldn't take my vitamin D this morning. Because for those that don't know, vitamin D is like fat soluble. And you need to have some food on your stomach before you take it. And I ain't do nothing. I didn't eat anything yet, so I can't take it. So, But get, on, get up on your... Uh, my margarita, I know you got some. Go on, eat your little something and go on, get up on that uh, vitamin D. Uh, so now, where are we at today? All right. Oh, uh, th- a third pillar is eating a culturally appropriate diet. Add something culturally to your diet every day. You know what I'm saying? We are an African people, right? We are African people. So there's plenty of things that we can add just a little bit every day to our diet of course you know we ate a lot of greens right a lot of greens you know what i'm saying so you can't go wrong when you throw some greens on there you know what i'm saying what i started playing with was uh hold on i got it i'll show you right now i've been experimenting with the palm oil Palm oil, something that you can trace back far into our into our past. Got that palm oil. Be experiment with that. Add a little bit of that to my food. You know, I know they be like it's it's high in fats and blah blah. blah. But one this year fats are bad for you. Next year they'll be good for you. I'm just saying we don't. They never know what what is what. So I just I'm just living my life right now. Um, and the last one of course is movement. But make sure you get your proper sleep. Make sure you get some sun, right? That's why we got these solar collectors on our... We got that solar collector on our body. So we got to get our sun, right? And when we can't get sun like on these cold days, we supplement it with vitamin D. And there's foods out there with a lot of vitamin D that you can also take, which will help. Now, I mean, help your body, right? And not only... I mean, because I, I, when I'm understanding, vitamin D is not even a vitamin, I, I'm hearing it's a hormone or something like that. I'm like, what? Why they call it vitamin D? Okay, that's part of that part of that piece. But now, the, this morning, because yesterday I um, I get home again. I say it's video time. We about to do some videos, and I get a call that rocks my world. So I go and say, all right, so let me call my team. I call my tribe. I got to call my accountability team to make sure that I'm not going off the rails. Everybody like, uh, well, you're not going off the you kind of hot timish. You know, it's, you're kind of hot timish, right? You, you, you're being hot tim. So we understand, right? You know what I'm saying? So I say, cool. I'm going to go and take it to my ancestors. So I go to where me and my ancestors meet. And you'll be like, where that at, brother hot tim? In the bathtub. Me and my ancestors meet in the bathtub. I'm a, I'm a Pisces. I love water. So I jump in the water. Even though I can't swim. So I can't. It's a very low possibility of me drowning 
in the bathtub. And if I do, y'all know, y'all know that it was set up. But anyway, so I sit in the bathtub, do my relax, and I think about it. I say, okay, okay, okay. But anyway, it all it always happens. So I'm not, you know, so I'm like, it, it, it threw me off because yesterday it got thrown off because it's like I have people in my circle that are ta- very talented. Right? I got like I got I got inner circles. I got circles all around me. I got circles of people that are super talented. But for some reason, they can't push go. So I spend a lot of time talking with them and I'm going to have to start breaking it to them and I'm not going to be able to sit here and theorize with you all the time because we got work to do. We got, I mean, it's plenty of work to do. It, I, we can't sit around and talk about what we don't got. We can't sit around and talk about trillions of dollars. You know what I'm saying? We, I mean, I, I, I'm having people talk to me about trillion dollar problems. I'm like, we, dog, look, can we talk about some hundred dollar problems? We need, we need to work on the hundred dollar problems. That's how you nation build. You start where you are. You know what I'm saying? If you ain't got brick, you got to figure out how to make brick from the dirt that you're standing on. That's one of the things I notice when I go to Ghana. They making bricks out of the dirt that they standing on. I ain't going to buy no bricks. We're going to make the bricks right here. I'm not building my house out of wood. We're building it out of cement. Huh, shit, that makes sense. And I'm sitting up here like, whoa, we're going to use what we got to get what we want. So what we have is we have a media platform, a media platform. So, you know, so I told one of my brothers yesterday because, I mean, because one of the ideas hitting is a brilliant idea. But I said ideas are like babies. You have to raise them. Great ideas cost absolutely nothing until you try to bring them into life. When you bring them into life, it's like raising a child. And you're going to have to be around, and you're going to have to feed that child, and you're going to have to take care of that child until that child is able to take care of itself. And just like a child, it could take anywhere from, well, at least 9 to 10 years to get them to be able with it. You can be sure they know how to put on their clothes, and, but they still need to be sustained. So you, we got a whole bunch of people with brilliant ideas, but they don't understand that these ideas are babies. And when once you give birth to them, you have to take care of them. You can't just be dropping your ideas everywhere and and and, and thinking that somebody gonna take care of them. You got brilliant ideas, but we got to be able to handle it. So what we need to work with is what we have. What we have, which brings me back around to what we have, family. What do we have? We have our culturally. Cultural Stabilizing Holiday. Shouts out to Sister Jackie for coming up with the term. Um, Originally from Detroit and Maryland right now. But anyway, we got our Cultural Stabilizing Holidays that we could build from. So we got a network that is like Kwanzaa 365. It's Kwanzaa 365. You type in Kwanzaa365.media, it'll take you straight to our platform. You go to gnj.media, it take you straight to our platform. Now, the next cultural, the next major cultural holiday that we are going to make our mark on is Juneteenth. And it just so happened that the Juneteenth falls on a weekend. Now, I know we make it, see, because I want people to understand this. Juneteenth don't always fall on the weekend. I consider June 13th to June 19th our period. That's our time, right? But when June 19th falls on the weekend, a Nia, a Kaumba, or a Mani, in the past, this was really a time for celebration for us. Why? Because most of us had jobs. We had to maintain our lives. And it was only in that three-year period that we were able to really, really get it in. And actually, for most of it, it was only the Nia and the Kaumba where we was able really to go on and just kick it real hard. Other than that, we had to do it on the other on the teens within that week. We ain't got to compromise this year. We're going to have us a full-fledged Juneteenth. If being in person is allowed, we could do it. If doing it digitally... If we have to, we could do it, but we're gonna, I mean, we still gonna stream. We still streaming. 
because we got, uh, you know, we may got some surprise streaming coming up for y'all pretty soon, family, because there's some stuff that is brewing that the young people are learning and it's about to go down. So I just wanted to get y'all ready, right? Because, of course, we got Black History Month, right? So we're going to do some stuff, of course, doing then. But the next major stabilizing, cultural stabilizing holiday for us is Juneteenth. Put it on your calendar. We got the Nia, which I think is the 18th. We got the Koomba, which is the 19th. And it brings us straight to the 20th, which is Father's Day. Oh, man. Oh, it's falling perfectly. It's falling. Oh, oh it couldn't, couldn't happen no better. Right? And we done perfected our craft because last year we mixed Juneteenth with Malcolm X's birthday. And we called it DigiFest. DigiFest. Right? Family. Family is about to go down. I don't know what what we gonna do but it's going down and like i said if any other cities want to participate with us and want to stream with us and want to use gnj.media to stream or kwanzaa 365 to stream i'm still rebranding i still gotta i still gotta set it in my mind to go to kwanzaa 360 y'all understand my tribe understand right uh so Skira says red red or stew from ghana is made with a base of palm oil so delicious and healthy man Got that palm oil, man. Oh, man. But anyway, so let's get to our, let's get to our toast, lifting up our ancestors as we do. And family, start, like I said, mark your calendars, start talking to your friends about it, start sharing, you know what I'm saying? Because eventually we got one, we got one flyer because uh, Kiara shared one flyer with me. We're going to start getting, we're going to get the troops up on the flyers. We're going to get the, you know, we're going to start pumping it on social media, start getting people ready for, Quan, I mean, for, well, actually, it's ex- I, I, I actually believe it's an extension of, of Kwanzaa anyway. But then, you know, I'm, that's, just, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, it is a celebration and it falls on the solstice. It's always around the solstice, the 19th, between the 19th and the 21st. The 21st is usually is somewhere within that period of time, so we got that summer solstice. So we already dealt with the winter solstice. So now we got a major holiday during the summer solstice. Mm. Now we only got those, those equal days that we got to deal with, right? And they coming. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We, gonna, we, we, we laying it down. We laying it down. We marking our territory. We 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 as 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 the old folks say, we pissing in all four corners. We got the north, we got the south, we got the east, we got the west. Right? We got the we got the equinox, the two equinoxes, and we got the two solstices. We we are taking our space and our time back. That is what that's what media allows us to do. That's one of the reasons we been, we went from G, just Giami tribe to Giami the media tribe because media allows us to start snatching our territory back. It allows us to start telling our stories. It allows us to start shaping our minds and getting ready because people coming for our space and our time. And it's not and and and, and, and it's oh, man, give me a break. It ain't about to happen. But anyway. Let's get to toasting before I stick my foot in my mouth. All right. I'm lifting it up. I got that original ambrosia. We did original yesterday. Let's do red. I might need to open one of these bottles, but I don't feel like cleaning up. Man, all right. I got to get to brewing. I got to get me some new. Uh, we going to have to brew. I might not brew as much as I did before, but we gonna about to, we about to brew. And I just got some good news. I'm gonna get, be getting a refrigerator for so that I could have so I could keep my ambrosia because some of the I mean because like I said I I can understand it they don't want the the super strong stuff this is actually the stronger it get the better it is for you right you just gotta you gotta limit the amount you take <laughs> you know what I'm saying pour it on some salad put it on a sandwich you know what I'm saying put it in some greens you know what I'm saying because it gets strong. But it has all the benefits and more the apple cider vinegar will provide you. But in its 
But those that tasted it in its fresh state, ooh, man. Lord have mercy. But anyway, first giving out the switch. Let's do our little switch. As y'all can see behind me, we are once again up on YouTube. It's Kwanzaa365 Media. Kwanzaa365 Media. Go on and find us. Go on and find us. We did it. All right, but anyway. Um, um, or I mean, because like I said, you might be able to type in Kwanzaa365 Media. Kwanzaa 365 is one word. Media is the second word because they I had to put in first name and last name. I didn't understand that. I thought I, w- I was trying to create a channel. But anyway, is a, uh, the email address for it is hatim, H-A number 2-T-I-M, at giamijourney.com. So that is the station that is under. That That is the do you know what I'm saying the domain in which is under so um they allow me to stream on this one. But somehow, check this out, somehow every time I stream, it only streams to folk tales for grown folks. And I have to go in and cut off the folk tale for grown folks because I'm going to save that for when we start doing folk tales for grown folks or somebody take the show Folk Tales for Grown Folks over. Right? And we can stream directly through that channel. But every time I come downstairs to start streaming Folk Tales for Grown Folks is on and not Kwanzaa 365 Media. And I don't, I'm sitting up here like, is my kids doing it? Is the ancestors doing it? You know what I'm saying? Is the white man messing with my computer? <laughs> I don't know. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, inquiring minds want to know. I want to know, why is that so? Why? You know what I'm saying? But I, you know, it is what it is. So first, family, we lift up our glass, and we salute and celebrate the creator. We lift up our glass, and we 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 we, we celebrate that creator. We praise that creator by whatever name you choose to use, right, in your personal life. We lift up that glass, and we salute, and we say, Ashe. From there, family, we move on. Y'all know where we're going. We're going to the part that we started the Daily Toast for, family. Once again, the history of the Daily Toast is that during my libations experiences, I have seen people showing off with the historical figures that they have. But when it came to us talking about the big mamas and the aunties and the uncles and the grandpas and the grandmas, it was a very short affair. And I figured that we needed to go on and flip that over. Why? Because Marcus Garvey has a family. Not saying that you shouldn't toast, you know, you shouldn't lift up Marcus Garvey. But as much of an influence as Marcus Garvey may have been on you, I'm quite sure there was somebody in your life that passed away that was even a bigger influence. And, and actually more important to your survival and to your upbringing. And I believe we need to salute those individuals. Not neglecting the Marcus Garveys and the Malcolm X's and the Martin Luther King's and the Sojourner Truths and the Harriet Tubman's and the Ella Bakers, right? Not excluding the Candaces and the, and, 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 and the, um, and, and and the Shaka Zulus and the and 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 the Imo Taps that people are gonna bring up not not shorting them at all, but getting us to look at our direct line because our ancestors are our direct line and our direct connection to the Creator. Our ancestors are active in our life, at least in in when we are in, as Doctor when Doctor Kelsey with Doc, the way Doctor Kelsey would say when we are in our African minds. You know what I'm saying? We out of them right now. But when we in our African minds, we have a direct connection to our ancestors. And if we learn to listen, if we learn to listen, you can hear your grandmama. If she's not with you right now, you can hear her wisdom in your ear. You can hear it. But this world keeps us so busy, we don't have time to make the connections. We don't have time to think about them because they weren't that important. They weren't involved in the movement. 
know what I'm saying? But they were involved with the movement. You know why? Because they made it possible for you to be involved with the movement. Many of us don't even know some of the sacrifices that some of the people in our lives made or some of the beliefs that they may have had to go on and betray and just leave or some of the dreams that they may have left on the table so that we could be here today doing what we doing. Come on now. Come on, fam. So I'm telling people wherever I go, whatever I, you know, we have to salute our personal ancestors. So I'm lifting up our personal ancestors. And I'm going to go down the list that I have. If you have ancestors that you want to add to the list, you are more than welcome, family. You can put them on the timeline. You can uh, um, inbox me or whatever, direct me, DM me on, 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 on Facebook or through the uh uh, through uh, the our Facebook page, or come get your account at G on GNJ Media. Drop it on my timeline. I'm just saying, family. I'm just saying. You know, if you want your ancestors on there, but I do suggest that if you have a long list, you may want to do a toast in the morning yourself. You know what I'm saying? Give me some key ones because, like I said, we got people coming all the time, and they bringing in they bringing their ancestors, right? So right now. Um, when we last checked, Kwame estimated we had somewhere close to a thousand. I'm not, I'm not about to count them. <laughs> but anyway, we lift up our glass. We toast Miles Brown, Mizan, Robert. Oh, by the way, if you do do your toast, right? Like for example, even if like for example, when it's when when it's my time to hang it up and pass it on, because that's what we build, and I'm building it so that we can pass it on. That one of the young people or maybe even one of my peers might step in and be like, yo, it's time. You know what I'm saying? Boom. We can step in. There's other stuff that I need to do. And they step in. When we when you start your list, you always start with your ancestors first. All right? So this list will be good, right, for you. But the only thing that I would, I would suggest that you do is to always start with your ancestors first. And, I, and I, you know, I know. That y'all already know that. But I start with my ancestors first. And then I work down into the family. Right? Because these these ancestors are what co- connect us. These ancestors are what make it possible for us even to talk about tribe right now. Right? We got Miles Brown, Ms. Ann, Robert and Tex, Santa Davis, Herman Brown, Sr., Rosalie Tilly, Georgia, William Walter, Chris, Penny, Gaston, Aunt Lena, Uncle Chris, I'm Finn, Cleveland, and Geneva Brown, Mark, Ellis, Wash, Ellis, Cecil, Ellis, of our Brown, Gina Gaines, Herman Brown, the second, Barbara, two eggs, Wash, Ellis, Junior, Katie, Ellis, Nikki, Ellis, Demar, and Joan, Jeremiah, Tapp, and John Falar, Montague, Pimmon, El Nomo, X, a pet, Mount, Rob, Malika, Fakur, Dr. Mary Ann Williams, Kojo, Kamal, Elder Farmer, Elder Millie Dixon, Tony Clark, Pastor Yusuf, Weston, Elder Ajani, Elder Ron Coleman, Elder Robert Donaldson, Alpha Brofro, Actor Jr., J. Edwards, Carl Harris, Grace Lundy, Inez Hayes, William Bill Moss, Phyllis Rose, Sterling, and Lucy Wright, Dick, L. Pauline, Lux, the brother, Miss Edith Brooks, Crawley, Miss Marie Nelson, Mr. Petra Crawley, Sr., Miss Jerry Brunson, Mr. Lonzo Johnson, Miss Marie McDowell, Janice Foster, Charles Jordan, Kel Smith, Walter Smith, Richard Trigg, Francis Johnson, Mary Franklin, Jimmy Williams, Daniel Ford, George Gibson, Nana Loretta Clark, Inez McCray, Fritz Clark, Frankie Justice, Katie Justice, Derek Renneman, Virginia Rogers, Reverend Jane Smith, Lewis Henderson, Cameron Spatling, Mary Elizabeth Walker, Raymond Walker, Sr., Sarah Jane Carter, Michael Ford, Jr., Kaylin D. Russell, Susie B. Smith, Teresa Clay, Melvin Dale Hodge, Melvin Dale Hodge, Jr., Herman Copeland, Mildred Copeland, Jenny Clay, Bird, B.D. Sale, Well, Libby the Farmer, I go so soon. Shell Harvey on Charmaine, on Evelyn Theolis Hasbury, Harvey Hasbury Sr., Lena Dickinson, T.C. Islam, Terrell Dunbar, Will Thomas, Sarah Berry, Mark Walsh, Merle B. Thornton, Pearl G. Thornton, Nadia Johnson, Florence M. Carter, Joanne Thornton, Edgar Trisha Lewis, Juanita Wright, Robert Wright, George Wright, Mary Eliza Frederick Davis, Mary Elizabeth Rogers, Mary Esther, Keechla Reese, Linda Watson, Hammonds, Jarrell Giles Watson, Sparrow, Slimmy, Seven Lewis, Andrew Holmes, Percy Moore, Mitchell Owens, Booker T. Bowden, Charlie Hunt, Sammy Stover, Heather Pearson, Sergio Thornton, Richard Thornton, Lavina Hall, Freeman Bankster, Mary Moss, Sophia Peacock, Willie Thornton, Napoleon Kendi, Mark Ramsey, Paul Ramsey, Matt Ramsey, David Ramsey, Charles E. Thorne, Frankie Quails, Urania Thorne, Bernie Squails, Ernestine Jackson, Frankie Johnson, Teresa Mormon, Neon Johnson, James W. West Sr., James Parham, Dana Jones, Henry World, Jane Farmer, Mary Chavez, Leon Grace, Leon Bessie, Leon Bess. Ah, oh, I lost the rhythm. <sighs> I lost the rhythm. Hold on. Uh... Thorn, Frankie Quills, Renee Thorn, Bernie Squills, Ernestine Jackson, Frankie Johnson, Teresa Mormon, Leon Johnson, J- Charles Bell, Vivian Ramsey, S.C. Johnson, 
Vivian Ramsey, S.C. Johnson, Derby to Johnson, Leon Johnson, James W. West Sr., James Parham, Dana Jones, Henry World, James Farmer, Mary Chavez, Leon Grace, Bessie Johnson, Hanley Vester, Mary Moreland, Paul Moreland, Elder Caleb, Rosemary Martinera, Dan Mattel, Wellman, Fred Douglas Triggs, the second Vina Triggs, Reverend Eddie Moore, Helen Fuller, Eugene Jackson Sr., Richard Ellis, Silas Alexander, Charles Maxwell, Percy May Alexander, Arthur Reynolds, Stanley Lockhart, Ricky Lockhart, William Lockhart, Woodrow Lockhart, Brenda Porter, Deacon Hargo, Carlos Soya, Andrew Parker, Doris Donald, Ellis Murphy, Demico Russell, Diddy Monaries, Gina Rope Jones, Jaina Callahan. Move to the second list. William Walter West, Nigel LaPere, Shelda Basigi Filani, Jim Robson, Gladys Johnson, Valerie Clark, John and Mary Sullivan, Dirk Johnson, Antonio Johnson, Denise Waters, Dupree Designs, Anders Bostic, Anna Bostic, Winifred Scatterbeg, Wilson Haley, Emma Hines, Fredders Lee, Eugene Spratling, Kevin Spratling, Charles Wooden, Penny Brown, Roy Lee Printup Jr., Miriam Johnson, Wilbur Longmire, Ethan Candy, Janice Carter, Michael Carter, Leon Pina Carter, Margaret Carter, William Carter, Lisa Jordan, Charles Lee Mosley, Dorothy R. Blair, Ransom Evans Sr., Sam Evans Sr., Nalon Blair Sr., Ooh, we made it past that. Wow. That's that that was that was a roadblock for a while. All right, cool. So I gotta pass this. So we could go on. Edward Stevens, Sue Ann Stevens, Joe Davis, Timothy Butler, Gene. Uh, let's go on. I got to go by the list. Joe Davis, Timothy Butler, Gene Holm, Dana Jones, Peter Charles, Christy Nichols, Carlton Robinson, Rosemary Charles, Ada Pearl, Bob Ingles, Jack Wallace, Warren M. Finch, Warren P. Finch. Tim Ingalls, R.G. Finch, William Billingsley Jr., Jennifer Sensabaugh, Hazel Gasset, Jay Brantley, Brian Watson Jr., Kaniko Parsons, Jason Cathy, Bradford, Thomas Bradley, also known as Uncle Buki and also known as Gypsy, Reverend Roosevelt Word, the first Stacey Trash, Frank Smith, Mother Bertha, Michael Leonard, David Brown, Ruth Carter, June Cox, Ruth Cox, Paula Cox, Ronald Irvin, Judy Hubbard, Irene Johnson, Francis Booth Jefferson, Dan Wilkinson Sr., M. McClendon, Jerry Doyle, Amina Robinson, Mary Nichols, Patricia Williams, Shabaka Ture, Greg G. Two Gibson, Donna Hill, Richard Glevis, Lee Irby, Tommy Irby, Boy Irby, Jim Gauthier, George and Hallie Johnson, Archie and Margaret Armstead, Diane Scott, Erica Armstrong, Claire Fox, Gene Evans, Archie Beck, Anna McGill, Charles McDaniel, Christine Cottrell, Aunt Becca, Alizano, Arthur Arnold, Hattie Reed, Charles Reed, Eula and Andrew Baker, Patricia Edwin Brooks, Gwilyn and Bob Haskimble, Vernon Bradley Kim, Janie Harrington McKay, Spencer Sturgis, Sally Mae Baker, Ethel Baker, Criola Baker, Geneva Baker, Aaron Nino Baby Hatch, and Senior Mally Miller, Halsey Hashtag, Cleveland, Mother Gibson, Alex Nixon, John Bowie, Lester and Rachel Saunders, Doretha Ross, Riola Ross, Robert Nelson, Fred Stevenson, Leroy Stokes, Needy Johnson, Fletcher Swan, Manny and Charlie Scott, Ida Casey, Thomas Kofi, Vivian Stevenson, Mona Ann Lewis, Cornetta Lyman Lewis, John Jackson, William Dallas Lewis, May Francis, Chappelle Jackson, Michael Slade, Joanne Perkins, Richard Jackson, Martha Ford Dawson, Big Mama, Nanny Harris, Eva Ford, James Harrison, Margaret Towns, Mary Williams, Leroy Q, Heap Senior, Albert Moore, Miss Vanilla, Albert Motley, Joe Dean Elizabeth, Douglas Thompson, Erickson Houston, Lord Alls, Elijah Aldrum, Alls, and West Staten, Joe Jamel, Alls, and Pierce, Donna Carter, Lily Green, Nathan Green, Beth Bond, John Dewey, Ruth Beard, Tim Butler, Ramey, Laura Newton, J.B. Parkey, Thomas Newton Sr., Barbara Naeem, Jeanette Sanders, J.C. Sanders, Roy Pruitt, H.A. Brownlee Sr., Henry Wilson, Rufus Jenkins, Minnie Wilson, Catherine Sanders, Miro Ellis, Elizabeth Sanders, Henry the Irby, Mildred Armstead, Margaret Armstead, Captain Anthony, Ruby Brown, Charles Walker Sr., Charlie Walker, Cecil Russell, Diane Irvin, Her Room Phillips, William Ford, Margaret Logan, Phyllis Barnett, Lee Irvin Sr., Michael Irvin, Ozella Watson, Hugo Watson, John Carwell Sr., Robbie Lee Carwell, Nevaeh Mitchell, Ron McCormick Sr., Sabrina Easley, Rishon Easley, Jabea McCormick, Barbara Ann Reed, Dorothy Ann Reed, John Reed, Chuck Maha Reed Jr., John Reed Jr., Patricia Reed, Edward R. Benson Sr., Ethel H. McNair, Lord Fernandez, Jack of the Broadus, Reginald Alvin, Masmin Cooper, George Swan, and Monet Grayson, Charles Scott, Charles A. Scott, Michael Morgan, Charlene Morgan, Sibbo Evers McNair, Benny Ferguson, William Ferguson, Shelby. McClendon, we also had a black book. We got you all the jobs. We got James Carswell. We got Loretta Adams, lovingly known as our sis. We got Elder Shaka McNair. We got Anthony Brown. We got Jonathan Ford. We got Lottie Gaucher. We got Cousin Tony, Michael Johnson, James, Jimmy Johnson, Barbara Shang, Lewis, Ronald Sheldon, Jr., Jamie Todd, Westina Banks, Joseph Bingham, Quincy, Mama, Aunt Lady, Abraham Isaac, Cunderbell, Barbara Lewis, Renee, John- Renee Johnson, Joy, Ryan Ross, Riggins, Dermonte, Marcus Price, Next words, Marshawn McHale, Demetrius Beard, Herb Jefferson, Rob Mickens, Eric Walker, Quay Sample, Candace Simmons, Severin Clayton, Leonard Jones, Sade Garner, Milton Scott Sr., Clarence Lumpkin, Elizabeth Johnson, Mr. Thornton, Johanna. We've got Deshonda Lynette Lewis, Henderson Mosley, Charles Jordan, Henry S. II, Fanny L. Webb, Dan Walter, Dal T. Sue Walter, Emma Walter, James Randolph Giles, Sonny Pete Walter, William Walter, Fred Powers. We got Elijah Juan Hakeem and Como. We got Alberta T. Davis, Charles Davis, Willie R. Mackey, also known as Dr. Creamy Mackey. Victor Bowden, Jusilla Kitty Berger. Got Lucy White, Robert Lee White, Emma Jean White, Talton Roger White, R.L. White, Jesse White, Ruby Jewel White, Johnson Carl White, Desi Woods. We got Tillard Woods Lennox. We got Jim Woods. We got Lizzie Woods. We got Juanita Alexander Brown. We got Cynthia Ann Wright. We got Richard Dorsey, Andy Simpson, Jamara Simpson, Regina Hopkins, Joseph Simpson, Nettie Dorsey, Eleanor Hopkins. Got Edward Wester, Alice Wester, Ivy Wester, Arnella Willow, 
Arnella Willis, Ethel Lane, Samantha DeMond, Ethel Marshall. We got Steve Dougie Shelton, William Bill Walker, Carl Rico Johnson, Kim Gray. We got Stuart A. Johnson, Edward Young III, Isaac Jackson Sr. We got Jusilla Merle, Wayne Young, Christina Young, Thomas Young, Frank Merle, Sylvester Foster, James Lizzie Winston, Abin Julia Lawrence, Ozell Leathers Sr., Gladys Cooper, Ozell Leathers Jr., Geneva Jackson. We got R.J. Lacey, also known as Tooth the Don. We got Brother, uh, we got, um, we got Saber Winston. We got Chris Kinney. We got Margaret Mentor. We got Mary Smith. We got Juanette, Juanette Florine Stitt Gibb. We got Carl William Duncan Jr., Janet Callahan, Danny Hill, Miko D. Nice Hill, Andre Martin, Mabel Williams, Terry Brown. We got Teresa Biddle, Levana Kincaid, Carla Sawyer, Reverend Jesse Porter, Deacon Ezekiel Dennis, Brenda Porter, Craig Lee Jones, Granny Bueller, Papa Al Reese, and Anaya Smith, George Gamble Sr., Joseph Gibb, LaShonda Jamar. We got Leroy Riley, Mona Yolanda Hunter, Yvonne Patrice Turner, Herman Reeves, Amanda Reeves, Josh Reeves, Lena Kate, Herman Reeves, Pam Johnson, Vera and Reese Fisher, Jerry Johnson McCalla, also known as Mama Moon, Sheila Ann Lee, Panchita Alba, Donald Brooks, Barbara Moses, Ida Spate, and Nira Branson. We got Eric Winston. We got Dan Bridges, Francisco Matisse, also known as Sonny. We got Charles Stevenson Jr. We got King Pleasant, Sarah Keith, Lena Shepard, Burdell Woodland, Mabel Haskins, Wilbur Shepard, Dennis Jackson, William Haskins, Geraldine Jackson, Henry Jackson Sr., Edward Jones. We got Leslie Travis. We got Charlize Barnes. We got Dewan Lewis Taylor, Madeline Yates, Juden, June Dandridge, Daisy Woodford, Frederick Smith, James and Amanda Baldwin, Linda Williams, Sally Williams, Vivian Stevenson, Irene Harris, Callie Williams, Abu Scales, Pat Williams, Mrs. Bertha Walker. We got Tony Ogletree. We got Grandma Marguerite. Oh, man, family, we have done it again. We have been on the road for five years straight. We lift up our glass. We salute our ancestors as our family and as our tribe and as our village grows. We become more and more powerful. Family, I'm trying to tell you, listen to me. And uh, this is this this is the challenge and this is the real talk. At Giami Journey, we strive to bring you bring value into your life. If us not doing and toasting these answers is not bring you blessings. By all means, stop watching. Right? Because it's working for me. You understand what I'm saying? It's working for me. You know what I'm saying? It's like doors that never had open have been opening. And I mean, it's like stuff just be happening. And I'm sitting up here like, oh, wow. You know, in a book that I, that I never put out, it's called, um, I can't remember the name of the damn book. But, uh. Make a long story short, there's an el elder in it by the name of Simba. Of course, it's about Giame. But anyway, he's he's an elder in Giame and it's years in the future and we got we got a we got a certain status in the world, right? We're not just dealing with Columbus no more. We all over the world. Well anyway, in the story, there's a young man that caught Simba's attention. That happens to be at one of the coffee shops that Giame owns, right? As a group, we own these coffee shops and these clubhouses and stuff like that. So the young man just been sitting in there, and um, Simba go over, and they start talking because Simba was noticed he was reading a book. So to make a long story short, this young boy um, decided that he no longer wanted to be in the streets, but uh, his friends or friends tracked him down to come and and pull him back in you know because he's he's a he's an earner he's a he's a money maker he's like man where you going you no no you ain't gonna lose you to this black stuff blah 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 so three of the dudes come into the coffee house and they start talking to the young man simba looks at the young man and say is there a problem and one of the young men get disrespectful with Simba and start yelling, talking about how he'll knock him out. Simba stands up, and as he's standing up, and the young man tries to throw the blow, somehow this young man ends up knocked out. Now, the young man that they was trying to get didn't have to leave, but he was amazed, and he like, what happened? And the only thing that Simba could say, and it's just a book, the only thing Simba could say, well, I guess it was that ancestral intervention. Our ancestors do intervene in our lives, family. They intervene in our lives. 
And you know, I wanted to bring that point across in the book. I never, I never released a book. I'm still working on. It. I got bits and pieces and blah blah blah. And and I find pieces over here and I find pieces over there. And I, you know, what I'm saying I start a little bit on the blog, but you know, like I said, maybe one day I have time to finish the book. But it, it's a nice book, and I can't remember the title of the book. It was something about. I, I I remember the title, but anyway, that's neither here or there. So we finished toasting the ancestors. Boom, right? We lift it up. We move on to the present moment. Right now, family, we are on the day of Ujima, and we want to give all of the Ujima babies a round of applause. <laughs> Go to gnj.media and up in the right-hand corner, there's a there's something to say shop. Rep your day. If this your day, I got on y'all color today. The, this is the Daily Toaster shirt for Ujima, right? And your day shirt will be the same color. This is a beautiful blue. And there's other blues in there. Those of you that are born on Ujima, y'all have probably more selection than anybody else. Because everything come in blue. In some ways, I'm kind of jealous. Everything come in blue. I'm cups, hats. I mean, y'all got y'all got the biggest selection. So y'all can have daily toaster repping your day, and you can have your day born short repping your day, and at the same time helping Giami Journey to continue building in what we're gonna do, right? And what we doing, right? Anyway, so today is Ujima. For those who's like, what do you mean by what? Well, what do you mean? Go check out our free e-course. Go check out our free e-course, right? FreeGNJEcourse.com. That's FreeGNJEcourse.com. Come and learn about Giami Journey. Come and join the tribe or learn how to build your own. You know what I'm saying? And then on top of that, also what we offer, not just the video platform, but we also offer you in this moment, right? Teaching you how to put together your digital content. What's that? You might have a book in you, an ebook. You might have a skill that people need that you can put down an ebook or do an e course. We can help you with all that. But anyway, back to the toast. We lift up our glass to this present moment, to the power in this moment, family. Recognizing the power in this moment because this is our time. This moment is our time. Yesterday belongs to our ancestors, tomorrow belongs to our children. Right now, in this moment, is our time. And the question I always want to ask us is what we going to do with it? What you doing with it? Realize you're not wasting your time. You're wasting your ancestors. You're wasting the time that the ancestors passed to you to, to, to hold and to take care of and to be able to pass it on to your children. But when you're wasting time, if the bundle of time come to you like this, by the time, if you've been wasting time, by the time you pass the bundle to your ch children in the future, you pass it on to them, it's smaller. And if they have been watching you and they've been coming up on your toolish, guess what? They're going to waste time. They're going to lose space. And, they, and it's going to get smaller. So every generation, by us not handling the business in the moment, we risk our future generations. And if we risk our future generations, we risk our past generations. What do, what do I mean? Very simple, family. It's very easy to be destroyed and forgotten. This is what this is what we this is what we strive not to do. No people in history, no animal in history do not want to leave a gene pool here. And as humans, not only do we pass on the genes, we pass on the cultural knowledge. But if you allow your space and time to be consumed and taken over and controlled by other people, you give them the right to erase your past, destroy your past, and in destroying your past, they destroy your future. With you sitting here allowing them to take the time and space up out your hands. This is a sacred gift to us passed from our ancestors from the beginning of time. And what are we doing with it? Just a question. But anyway, family, we are on Ujima. Ujima, for those that don't speak to them, first off, let me ask what I ask. I want you to go out. I want you to seek out your principle. The principle of the day that we hunt down today is Ujima. Ujima stands for collective work and responsibility. Righteousness. Is the modic principle for the day. Respect is what we teach the young people in um, the M7, 
which is a which a principal system that we you know that we develop for the institutions that we might be going in that might be Kwanzaa phobic. You know what I'm saying? Um, blue is the color, as you can see by the beautiful blue Daily Toaster shirt. Vibration is the hermetic law. So there's a lot to learn on each one of these days. A lot of a lot of information that you could just glean from your day and learn about your day. And then the male name is Kwaku and the female is Akua. So if you go not only study your day, that'll take up that could take up a lifetime, right? But then you go into the science of our ancestors who tracked behaviors by days. When you go and you look up, look up your day that you was born. And then go to the uh, Akan system of day names. Or go to one of the African systems of day names. Where each child is born on a day and they receive that day name. And see if those qualities do not fit. It's crazy. When I read Kooji Chagalia, you know what I'm saying? Kwame be mad because I be gung-ho on that shit. But when I read Kooji, when I read, when I read Kwabana, you know what I'm saying? And, and and all the way down to getting shot. You know what I'm saying? I was like, oh my God. Oh my God. When I read, because we ain't putting now, we ain't put ours together yet, right? Cause of course it's gonna have that stuff, but it's also gonna have these days. So that's something I gotta work on too. But like I said, I gotta get time for that. And to get time for that, we got to go on and we got to build, right? We gotta we gotta produce and we gotta present people with value so that boom, y'all. Because people feel like, hey, this is valuable enough where, you know, this is what they need to be doing. Y'all need to be making videos. Y'all need to be making e-courses. Y'all need to be making e-books. But if they don't move, we can't move. All right, but here we go. We lift up our glass. We salute this present moment, the power in this moment. We remember it. We embrace it. We take the responsibility for it. And we understand that we hold a sacred trust. We lift up our glass. And we say, I say, from there we move to our future generation. We toast our children, our children's children, onto infinity. Family, I know it can be hard sometimes. But, you know, we need to encourage the future. Right? We need to be patient with them. Because I can't wait to see what they become. You know what I'm saying? Especially if they've been tutored and guided by you. We lift up our glass. We salute the future generations. And we say, I say, from there, family, we move on. And where we moving to, brother? How, Tim? It's a very simple quest. From here, we move to all of our relations. We list, lift it up. We're toasting all of our relations. Shots out to Mama Margarita. Thank you for, for unlocking the stream. And that's the lion roar y'all hear in the background. Every time somebody like it on Facebook, we get a roar. And, I mean, there's all types of stuff you can do with this thing. But, anyway, we lift it up. Uh, she said, my eldest son, Alango, Kweku, Robaldo, Rob, Glenn. Okay, did I say it? Rebel Lodo? Glenn, did I say it right? We lift up our glass. Is a Kwaku. And that's the day. We lift up our glass. We salute all of our um, all of our relations. And we say, I say, from all our relations, family, we move to that selfish toast. This is for you. What is it that you need in this moment to move towards your greatness? Right now, in this moment. In this quiet time, right now. Early. The sun is just now coming up. That energy that our shade is out there. We done called the creator. We done called our ancestors. We done recognize our power in the present moment. We even called on our future generations who are basically just our ancestors coming back, right? We're calling on that infinite cycle. We got all that energy in the room. We even toasted and lifted up all, all of our relations. What is it that you need in this moment? And this is the moment to ask. This is the moment to say it. Say it out loud. I say, from there, family, we lift up our tribe. Who is your tribe? Who is your accountability group? Like I told you, I had an issue yesterday. I had to call my accountability. Am I going, am I Am I looking at this wrong? You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, I call the aggressive ones, and I call the ones that that's laid back and can give the wisdom, and, 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 you know, I'm like, okay, cool. All right, cool. I, I'm, well, I'm, I'm not tripping all the way. I'm tripping some, but I ain't tripping all the way. And, and we're going to talk about this in a, in a later day. Anyway, we're lifting up our glass. Right? To that tribe. My tribe is Giami. Shots out. Giami tribe, stand up. Who your tribe? We are Giami tribe. We belong to the Tawi family village. Right? We also belong to the Simba Nation. Simba and Simpson Nation. 
Man. Man. Long, long lineage. Long, long lineage. Boy. We lift up our glass. We say, I say, from their family. Last but not least, I want to toast the most magnificent, most beautiful, most uplifting, most outstanding, most impressive, the wisest, and the bravest individual in the room. I lift up my glass to you. And we say, I say, I say, I say. All right, family. I got to cut it. Lord. When it's too strong, you got to cut it or you got to do a shot. Lord have mercy. All right. So, what are we going to talk about today? Let's go and look at some of the news. Of course, I want to make sure I do the tutorial on gnj.media because, once again, family, it's important. Like, for example, you could take the site and you can share it. Or you could take the platform and you can share it on your Facebook. You can share it on your Instagram. You can let people know that you're there, that they need to be there. We can help build it up, right? Because the more people we got, the you know, I, you know, like I said, like I said, let's just let's just build it up. Let's build it up. They told me if you build it, they will come. I said what? They said if you build it, they will come. So why your voice sound like that? I don't know. It's just when you say they will come, you need to sound deep. Okay. All right, so here we go, family. We're throwing, um, let's go and bust out the box. Busting out. We're busting out on fun. Busting out. We're busting out on some serious fun. Busting out. Na 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 na. Did I bust out yet? Na 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 na. Told you the album is coming. Let me check. Yes. All right. All right, so, oh, look what I popped up on. Juneteenth.com Worldwide Celebration. It's Worldwide Celebration. Oh, but long before it was a worldwide celebration, we were celebrating here in Columbus. Shouts out to uh, Brother Mustafa for keeping the fire alive for as long as he possibly could. Juneteenth is the oldest national celebrated commemoration of ending of slavery in the United States. Dating back to 1865, it was on June 19th. June 19th that the Union soldiers, led by Major General Gordon Granger, some of y'all might got Granger insurance, but anyway, landed at Galveston, Texas, with news that the war had ended and that the enslaved were now free. Talk about pissed. That, this is two years old, man. Anyway, note that this was two and a half, two and a half years after President Lincoln's Emancipation Proclamation. You talk about, all right, which had become officially January 1st, 1863. And this is the, this is the first historical instance of people not receiving the memo. The first mass historical Documented event of people not receiving the memo. They didn't get the memo. You know? So this is, for the young people, this is when they were still transporting mail by horse. Right? And, and, and some of these people knew down there in Galveston. But they was trying to get as much free labor as they could before they let these people go. The Emancipation Proclamation had a little impact on the Texan due to the minimal number of union trips to enforce the new executive order. However, with the surrender of General Lee in April 1865 and the arrival of General Granger Regiment, the forces were finally strong enough to influence and overcome the resistance. 
So we'll talk a little bit more in depth about Juneteenth. We'll get some of our some of our historians on here to talk about it. But you know, I need you to understand this is one of our cultural holidays, and we're gonna stand on it, and we're gonna push it, and we're gonna have a great time doing it. All right, now we on the daily toaster. Now, for those that like the shirts, you say, "Hey, I want a daily toaster shirt. I want a dayborn shirt." Go to the shop. Go to the shop. When you click the shop. Boom, there you go. There, you got your Quan, Quan's at 365, all white. I just don't like getting white shirts, so I never got the white one. I think I might have to get the white one so I could go and stress. But, you know, got Daily Toaster shirts for women. We got You got the Dayborn shirts. We got everything up in here. All you got to do is go and you click shop, show more, and you go. And, and at the same time, you're supporting Giami Journey. All right, so let's get up out of here. So I think what I need to do, I might need to get that page to open up in another tab, right? So once again, when you come to gnj.media, because people have been having problems, I already put a video out, and I got two more videos that I didn't post. Oh, my God. Oh, I put them up. Ooh, thank God. All right. All right. So you go in, you put your username, and you put your code if you have signed in. Now, another issue is that you have to go and verify your account. So let's walk through that real quick. So I'm already signed up. I signed up. I haven't verified my account yet. I'm going to go in. I'm going to sign in. All right, cool. So the first thing that pop up, you got, you sound, um, you get the, you get the messages first. I put the messages up here first because, so that we could communicate. But if you want to go and you want to watch the video, right down here, if you click, right at the bottom, you click right in that black space, boom, there it is. The live is right up underneath there. And to make it bigger, all you do is click the full screen, boom, and there it go. That's the full screen. You say, I don't want full screen, brother Hot Tim. All right, cool. You do the picture in picture, and it floats around your screen. It floats around you. It, it floats with you, Right? Then you still got the chat right here, and you could talk, blah, blah, blah. Like Brother Kwame says, you sound more like a sick Donald Trump. Wouldn't trust anyone sounding like that, just saying. I think that's something. Boy, the hate from your own family. Mm, mm, mm. Remember also we got the vendors and the Kwanzaa 365 with all the channels. All the channels are still alive. So people may still be uploading or maybe still be streaming. But let's go inside. So we're going to go inside the door. We got to go through the tribe to get to the door. Click tribe. Going behind it. There we go. Behind the scenes. Lord have mercy. What a beautiful sight it is to be back here. Now, this is my personal account. So I got admin functions and stuff. So, But what I want to show you is, um, of course, you know, you get... Add external live stream. Now, a lot of this stuff, listen, a lot of this stuff comes to those that support gnj.media. Um, you go to gnjmedia.support. Um, gnjmedia.support. Let me post that up for you. Post it up. gnjmedia.support. Give it a second. All right. But what I want to make sure y'all do, because some of y'all are having problems, I want you to go to my account. You go on this side. Right here is your picture. If you got a picture, you go to my account, or you come over here to the three buttons here, and you go to my account. Takes you to the same place. Now, what you have to do is verify your email. And when you click this button, it allows you to verify your email. If you change anything... You know what I'm saying? You might have to reconfirm your email address, blah, blah, blah. You could you can name your channel, okay? You could change your username because this shows up too. If you only want the name of your organization to show up, that's what you put, right? So you got all this stuff. You got your pictures. You can upload, blah, 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 blah. You understand? So verify your email. Go directly to your email and... Prove who you are. That's all we ask. You know what I'm saying? Now, um, eventually what we're going to have is we're going to have a service agreement. And we're asking other people, we're going to ask you to, even those that are in the site already, to go back 
and sign the uh, the agreement, right? Because we want to make sure everybody, we want to keep everybody safe on our site. And we also want to keep um, what we're trying to build safe because somebody will come in and try to take all of our stuff. You know what I'm saying? Because it has happened, happened before, and it can happen again. Let me go on. That's my personal page. Don't want my personal page out. We want that Giami out. See if there's anything in the news. Uh, okay, this one of those, is this, oh, this is still me. Uh-uh. Go to Giami Journey. All up on my, all up in my personal business. Stop it. Stop it. All right, of course, y'all know today, I forgot to mention, today, we got the Kwanzaa Celebration restreaming. We're restreaming Ujima, of course, because we are on Ujima. And why not restream it? We got it. We say Kwanzaa 360, 365. We're not playing around these parts. We're not playing around these parts. All right. So same schedule. It'll be the same tomorrow, and we're going to kick it all the way until the money. They say I'm live. They say you only got one person live, brother Tim. Oh man. Okay. But thank you, one person. I appreciate you. All right. Uh let's see. Here's the numbers. Y'all, we still cooking after, you know, we still cooking after uh uh what is it? After dang, my mind is gone. After Kwanzaa, we still cooking. They say people reached in the last 28 days, 32,409. Family, y'all killing it. Y'all killing it. This is y'all. This ain't me. Some y'all sharing this stuff. I appreciate it. Um. So, all right, here's the news. Scientists engineer new living materials by hacking the basis of kombucha. Now, what I'm drinking right here will be considered kombucha. And I got these things. So let's go and look at this. Some of the stuff that our children could be experimenting with. Because I got, because the, the beautiful thing about this is that once you start making your own, they start creating their, they start recreating themselves. They want to serve. They just like make themselves. All right, let's see what material. Scientists have created a new kind of living material by tweaking the base ingredients of kombucha. The popular tea drink fermented with a symbiotic culture of bacteria and yeast, called a scoby. This kind of tea fungus, sometimes called kombucha mother, can do a lot more than just produce sour tasting beverages, it seems. By modifying the mixture of the culture, my fault, let me give credit. This is from Science Alert. We read in an article by Pete Dockrell, done on January 12th to 21st. By modifying the mixture of culture, researchers were able to make, make engineered living material, ELMs, that could one day have all sorts of practical applications such as sensing light or detecting contaminants. Better still, the scientists say these living materials can easily be made at home, much like tending sourdough starter in your kitchen, unless they can be, very easily. Although we are still far from a future in which people can cheaply grow their own biological sensors, our new systems move us forward by creating materials that are scalable and therefore more likely to be useful in the real world, says co-first author of Synthetic Biology, Charles Gilbert um, from Imperial College of London. Synthetic biologists. Now, if we have any young people that are interested, or any old people that's interested in synthetic biology and you want to do some experiments with scobies guess what we got them we know how to make them yes we do god i i mean it's like i i i often have to throw them away because i be having so many i be having so many matter of fact i'm looking over there right now they might be growing right now but it is y'all gonna finish reading that but i just want y'all to know i mean it's like and then on top of that, you know, it's like when they get older, you can put them in the soil, break them up, put them in the soil. You know what I'm saying? The soil decomposes them. And, you know, it, 
kind of helps you so long as you don't do too much. You know what I'm saying? Because it, they will form. You know, they 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 are known to, you know, kind of get stuff kind of acidy. All right. But anyway, let's move on. Um, I think that's it for the. Okay, here we go. New documents show ex-Columbus officer Adam Coy had history of inappropriate reactions. They had over 90 before he shot this young man, before he shot this young man. Y'all need to check that out. This type of stuff. You know, you got you got these cops that get all these complaints and, and got all these, all these complaints and all these citations and all this counseling and stuff. But they still allow, you know what I'm saying, if you were diagnosed on your job in the way that some of these police officers are being diagnosed on theirs, you were not allowed to be allowed to come to work. And he, he, he's not the only one. Then, like I said, I want y'all to look at the end of the article where it talk about the two dozen. As, as a matter of fact, let's go to the end. Because y'all can read all of the fuckery that this police officer have been involved with. And I know people really upset because I cuss. But listen, family, sometimes the only way to get across some of these ideas about some of this stuff is going on is by throwing out them bombs. You know what I'm saying? Because this was total fuckery. All right. This is the brother. This is the brother that he killed. Andre Hill provided man. All right. There you go. There you go. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, so he lost his job. And the union is fighting to get him his job back. See, we we empower these, we empower these people. And they turn around and what they do. You know, I mean, I, I'm just saying. They taking care of their own. Are you taking care of your own? You know what I'm saying? Come on now. But I, I want to get down to this. Here we go. Coy's, this is the young man that got shot. Coy's fatal shooting of, of oh my fault, Coy is the, the shooter. Coy fatal shooting of Hill on December 22nd during a response to a non-emergency disturbance call about a running vehicle remains under investigation by Ohio Bureau of Criminal Investigations, OBCI, I guess, which investigate all shootings involving Columbus police officer. Ohio General Dave Yost, whose office oversees BCI, has been appointed a special prosecutor in the case, though New Franklin County Prosecutor Kerry Tyak has indicated he might seek return of the case to his office. Nearly two dozen other officers who responded to the scene of Hill's shooting on December 22nd are also being investigated internally by Columbus Police for not providing medical aid to Hill for several minutes following his shooting. Two dozen. Two dozen police officers watching this man die. Two dozen community servants Peace officers, watch this man die. Refusing to give aid for a couple of minutes. Huh, okay. All right. But do you know, you know, this is this is what we dealing with, right? So, you know, you 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 hear this, you hear people when they start talking about defunding the police, they don't understand what the hell we talking about. And they don't want to understand. Matter of fact, they won't even sit at the table and discuss 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 some of these things with us. And I understand because there's certain things I won't go to the table and discuss either. It's some shit that just, you know what I'm saying? They need the police to keep you in your place. Remember, that's what the police are for. They fund the police to keep us where we are. Period. Period. And until we get that understanding and until we are bold enough to have that conversation with them, we always going to be getting this bullshit about them protecting us. Come on, fam. Come on. But, yo, I'm about to get up and out of here. About to start my day. Uh, but, yo, family, make sure you go to gnj.media. Make sure you support Giami Journey. I love y'all. Thank you very much. Y'all have a great day.
Peach family, yo, thank you for joining us, right? And I'm thrilled to announce the fact that we are now releasing our first free e-course. Come and learn about your journey, see some of the stuff we do. Come and join the tribe, tribe up with us, and check out the free e-course. And we'll make sure that the URL pop up right about here. And it'll probably be somewhere in here. Check us out, family, because we are building. Come and learn about Gianni's journey. And let's build together. Women, but the most important goddesses were black. Looking for the African now in the civilization of the Greeks. The Greek was so profoundly affected by the Africans that the goddess of chastity was a black woman, Artemis. The goddess of wisdom was a black woman, Minerva. The goddess of beauty was a black woman, Diana. And many of their great mythological figures which were critical to the vision of history, the history of the Greeks in the Odyssey, the woman who draws, who has the power to draw Odysseus and all his crew into her is Circe, who's represented as a black woman with African features on the Greek vases. The woman who helps Jason win the golden fleece is a black woman, Medea. The woman who marries Perseus, the Greek hero, is... What is a lion without his pride? What is a whale without his pie? What is a monkey without his troop? What is a wolf without his pack? The answer is very simple. They are the same thing that a human being is without a tribe. Pray. For Baragani, Bomb Skin and Co. is the true definition of self care, self love, and repeat. We are what we create in this life. Bomb Skin and Co. chooses to create something innovative and unforgettable. Check out our website for more information. Spirit Over Flesh LLC is a wellness-based business where we heal through words. I'm Tiandra. I'm the founding servant leader. It is a black-owned, woman-owned business that was founded in Ohio, but that can serve the world. Um, through virtual sessions, either by phone or video conference. We have a...